How could Apple have the audacity to change an app that we already cherished. There's a secret to falling back in love with the Photos app in iOS 18. We're gonna talk about it right now. First of all, let's make sure we all understand why we're upset. Photos app was the one that kept all of the things we love in an app that worked great. It had iCloud photo syncing, it had shared albums, it showed up across all of our devices, and the layout was something we got pretty used to, but now we open it and we're like, what? What, what is this? All right, first of all, it's a bunch of adorable animals, but why am I scrolling and where are my buttons? What is this where I can scroll through and see all these different areas that don't make any real sense? Apple changed the game on us and we didn't even ask for it, but Apple's changed the game a lot of times and we didn't ask for it. The entire iPhone idea was something that we didn't even know we needed and now it's in every single one of our pockets. So is this something we actually don't want or don't need or is it just a version to change? Remember the way it was before when you launch the app, you're presented with four options across the bottom of the screen. That was the UX, that was the UI, and one that is a little bit dated. Let's take a look at it now. When you launch the app, this is key to understanding and enjoying the Photos app in iOS 18 and beyond. You show up in the middle of the app. Okay, you can go up or down. If you start here, you actually do get tabs across the bottom. They've switched here to months into years. All right, you guys already know that. And if you just pull up, think about the experience. Why should we have to switch in between the tabs in a mashing around your app type of move when instead we can glide down to where we wanna be? We can move down to pin collections. We can see our shared albums and we don't have to move all the way to the left side of the screen in order to access the different sections of the iPhone app. This is the future of Apple design. And so as you move to the bottom of the screen, you can have a different relationship with the material there. But you know, Mr. Mac, we wouldn't leave you with that, right? Your workflow is your workflow. That's one of our favorite sayings. So up is your photos, down is your organization. And go all the way to the bottom because here we can customize and reorder the library. And listen to me, y'all, just turn them all off. Top to bottom, no big deal. We turn them all the way off. You know what I'm gonna leave? I'm gonna leave one and then I'm gonna turn that off too. It's called Utilities and it has some useful features, but I'm gonna show you why you think you need it. Y'all are gonna like, oh, should I leave on Utilities? No, but we'll leave it on now just so you trust me. And look at the experience we have now. We get to the middle of the app. There's not much the other direction right now. Boom, Utilities, that's it. That's it, that's all we got. What a simple, fluid, easy app experience that Apple has designed for us here. But don't just take my word for it. I want you to look at a couple scenes here from a channel called Adamic Art. Amazing UX design. And this is a couple years old. This is officially 2022. But look at some of the designs in the setup. You can see here liquid swipe, buttonless design. And look at the type of interaction that they get to have. Now they go into, check this out, a 2.0 version of navigation, which I would suggest to you, Apple is actually moving into three or 4.0. But you can see here, look at the beautiful swiping as you move through these different items for sale. And then immediately as you choose one, the bottom already becomes secondary to the buying and sizing experience. Look at the way these apps are built with the attention to the visuals, but also the usability. You don't have to spell out everything because it's so intuitive. And this is gonna be very important as we move into Vision OS, different AI applications, and making super advanced technology accessible to everybody. I really love the way that the animations and illustrations are used to support that intuitive nature of the app itself both in function and in aesthetic. I mean, look at the stuff that these designers are putting together. It, it's incredible. I mean, there's no tabs across the bottom to go from flights to destinations, to arrivals, to bags. All of this is built right in, and some of it is not even possible to code, honestly. That's why we haven't seen some of it in the market. But make no mistake, the designers are here to bring the future to us, and they're doing a great job. Let's look at just one or two more. This one's from Phenomenon Labs, and Incredible, like just, just the app design. You can see there's no tabs across the bottom. There's just an action button, if that's where you need to go, and then you can interact with it right above and scroll to these places, which is better for the thumb, it's better for the ergonomics, it's better for the experience, because you can see here on the right, look at that, it, like that's an infinite scroll through the services, maybe not, you're not infinite, you're, you're gonna hit the bottom, but it allows you to move through informational cards instead of separated tabs. 
Are we starting to get it? Are we starting to get that? There's small changes. I want to make that clear. The, the iPhone game is so mature and so well developed that you really got to find a shave just a little bit of time off your experience and improve it. So don't miss a good move because it's different than what we're used to, because we might discourage designers who are actually doing a good thing. This last resource is called Mobin. It's, it's one for apps that have already shipped, okay? Meaning that you can go and, and download them now. So you're gonna see a lot of navigation 1.0 or 2.0 here at the bottom. But what I loved as I was uh, Nike, Nike here has traditionally really good stuff. But the one that I came across, one that looked different than the rest, and it's not quite masterclass, although I do like the card system that they've implemented. But look at what comes up here jumped out at me right away and I didn't recognize the creator do you guys see it this is Apple's brand new invite app and you can see it's probably come across all your devices with iOS 18.3 but look at it now I mean there is no tab bar across the bottom it is a completely different experience from start to finish create an event move into a housewarming party the entire experience is completely different and focus not around sorting through your information and putting it in different bins, but bringing to the front the information that you want the most. And that's why Apple's Photos upgrade is such a huge improvement. Now, remember I told you that utilities is feeling kind of familiar, right? Like, uh, you know what, maybe I wanna keep that. You might wanna keep one at the bottom. Hey, you might even go ahead and just get rid of utilities altogether. But before you do, let me explain why you don't need it because all it's going to contain really is your hidden and your recently deleted. There are other forms of utilities that I find very minimal use for because the skill that we always teach at Mr. Mac is what, say it with me, search. Top right hand corner, search bar, and you can you don't need a utility for screenshots because you can type it right in. Search replaces utilities, search replaces albums, search replaces people and pets. Maybe not, maybe not that little guy. I, I don't I don't know if uh, if ferrets are gonna come up on the pets section, but you can you can assign anyone a person or a pet. We'll talk about that on another video. But your workflow is your workflow. Take the time to set this up. You don't need the utilities because if you really want to get into your hidden, it's one extra click. It's even more hidden and you don't need it for recently deleted because if you really need to get into your recently deleted, just add it right back. Now, the two that I like and set this up for yourself is going to be shared albums and memories and take the time to move them. Three bars on the right hand side, move them to the top and you can put them in the middle if you want. It's not going to matter unless they're checked. And now we have an album that is strong, that is exactly like we need it. We go up for all of our photos and we go down for our organization. That's the way of the future. Hold on, before you disagree, look, look at this. We had like two broken iPhone 8s, so we made it into one. So tell me if you like this and be honest. Here it comes. This is what the internet for four straight weeks said that they all wanted back. Let's look. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, man. I forgot that if you don't have a multiple of three, that you, the gap is at the bottom. It's at the top now. Like you have to go through all the photos to be like, oh, it's not a perfect picture. And, and I'm not being real fair here. I guess I could pinch that. That's a, that's a little better. But then you have the albums and I do like the for you section. Like that's why I keep the memories on my iOS 18 photos app. But then remember this, you have this library and while they're amazing geckos here, it's it's like, why why did we have two? We had like the library where they just changed the sizes and made some randomly bigger and then the albums, which had all of our photos, which I always appreciated the pinching. But then if you wanted to actually get to the albums, remember this, you had to like double tap the album button. Oh yeah, triple tap if you're scrolled up at all. And then now you can get into the albums. I clicked albums, but you showed me the recents which is just all of the photos. So a lot of inefficiencies were solved. And I will say this, I, I miss having search in the bottom right. I forgot about that. They've moved it all the way to the top. Search is so powerful. Let's just, let's bring that down to the bottom right, please. Ah, oh, so much better. <laughs> I like, I'm, I'm really not playing this part up for the camera. I, I, feel, I feel calmer. Oh man, I, I don't know, It just remember this, remember this, love it or love it. <laughs> when you launch it, you're in the middle of the app. That is where you arrive. If you got that, you got your bearings. 
Go up for your photos, go down for your organization, customize it to how you want it. And, and let me know, did, did I do it? Did I make a good case? D do you feel it? Can, do you feel more peace? Let me know in the comments. Give me, give me down at the bottom. I wanna move between my pages. Or if you can kind of enjoy again, scrolling your way through the Photos app, whatever it is, this is better.